We did all four legs, uh, the foot, the back. We actually filled in um, a gravel hole at the top that looked like a football just behind the, the actual horse himself. But um, it was six days, I think it was about 10 hours a day. Yeah, right. We helped organise for Toby and about 19 other people to come up and spend the weekend up in the White Horse. The week after the Ordnance Survey had been in to mark out sort of the new boundary, uh, we came up as an example about 20 people uh, and we were just recutting that outline um, with sort of big matic axes. The cadets went out like that and then came back white. <laughs> um, they, were, they were looking for uh, ideas of people to come in and help. But we jumped on it because it was in our own patch. And there's no way we wanted any other outside agency from another county coming in to do stuff on our territory. The other source of evidence I turned to were aerial photographs. We've been looking at aerial photographs from about 1940 onwards, where people have photographed it. And each time somebody photographs it, you can see that slightly thing, different things have been happening. Somebody's added a hat or somebody's added a nose. Mm. Or different bits of the, you know, the, the monument have changed shape. And looking at postcards that people have taken since mm. the night, late 19th century, you could see all sorts of changes in that monument. So my job was to try and understand that. So it was shown on a map of about 1870. So that's the earliest known portrayal of that monument. So that I needed to figure into the mix as well. We did to map it down to sort of centimetres of accuracy. All right. So the the, the accuracy that um, when we plotted this out back onto the back onto the ground, three centimetres is your accuracy, and that's with reference to the to all the other mapping that we have in the country. So that's probably the most accurately mapped horse yeah. in the country. The way it started was that um, my wife and I were driving up the hill. And my wife said, look at that horse, it looks horrible. And at the time, I was chairman of the Osmington Society. I said, well, that's interesting, because I think the society should have a project. So many of these people here actually dump up on the hill. One of the chaps broke his ankle up there. Another chap broke a toe. You know, it was tough going. This is lovely because we're now asking her to come here, the Royal Highness, to celebrate something 204 years ago. Because George III never came back, he didn't see it. And these people who created that in the first place. And finally, we think of all the people here. There's so many volunteers. The fear this plaque will underestimate the amount of time and effort put in to achieve what is a tremendous restoration. <clears throat> in every way. I hope this is a stone that is closely related to where we are. It's best Herbeck stone. <laughs> <Well done>. <laughs> <laughs>